Hey everyone, welcome back to another League Racing video. This is AFR Tier 1 around Mexico. Now this did happen a few weeks ago. Unfortunately been busy with uni and work. And I was meant to get this video done on Wednesday, but I got my COVID booster and it knocked me around a bit, so... We're getting to it now. Anyway, coming into this race, we're aiming still for 10th in the championship. We're quite a few points behind that, but we've had a good run of form leading up to this. We've had uh, three top five finishes in our last three race starts, unfortunately missing USA, but coming into Mexico, one of my stronger tracks, looking for a good result. If we can just uh, get a good quality, get us in the top half of the top 10 uh, for the race start, we'll, we'll be looking pretty good. Uh, and just try and try and continue this run of form. Anyway, getting on to the start of our final lap in quality, you can see we've set a 14.8, putting us currently at 11th, uh, well off my PB nice. as well. Uh, but focusing on our exit out of the final corner, maximizing our speed down this main straight, activating DRS, and getting ourselves prepared for this really important breaking point into turn one, which sets us up through the next run of corners and for the next straight down to turn four. Braking maybe a little late, could have taken more of that curb, and same again for turn two, but overall getting quite a good run through there, and that has us up a couple of hundreds leading on into turn four now. Once again, preparing for another important braking zone, nice and late here, maybe should have taken a bit more curb there, but opening up the next corner here for our run into this double right-hander. Focusing entirely on the exit here because the speed we get here is carried all through this section of the S's. Holding it in sixth, could have taken more of the uh, apex there. And same again for that corner, could have taken more of the apex. Really, really on edge through the S's there. Full throttle, not even lifting a tiny bit at all. We're up just under, or just over a tenth, leading into the stadium section now. Really trying to maximize our run through here. Uh, taking a bunch of curb through there in fourth gear, final corner, third gear, short shifting to fourth, and short shifting again to fifth, keeping it tight there. We improved by three and a half tenths for a 14-4, which currently puts us P4 in qualifying. So really good at the moment, but unfortunately we get pushed down a couple of, couple of positions uh, before the start of the race, and we end up in sixth. Three and a half tenths off pole, so... Not too bad. Um, my PB maybe could have gotten us right, pole, though, which would have been interesting. Anyway, getting ready for the start of the race now. Five red lights. And away we go. And it is a terrible start. I didn't get any wheel spin or anything, but we just right, bogged short down, start. short shifting up to third way too early. We've lost two positions Drink already before we get to turn one. We're going to try and take it as easy as possible in here without losing any more positions. Trying to defend on the inside from Jackson and the outside from Trin. Leaving space for Jackson on the inside, oh, but we make contact with Trin, Jackson, which spins I us half into Trin. Jackson as well. Don't know how we That's didn't unlucky. get damaged from that. But well, that puts us down now into P9 and quite a bit behind uh, the train, almost out of DRS range. We're also forced to uh, defend from ECAM into this next corner. And that is a terrible start to our race from, from P6 in qualifying. We're down three positions already. Coming out of the final corner, though, uh, Smitty's made a mistake, so we're looking to get this position back from him, using as much ERS as we possibly can. He's also using his ERS to try and defend from, from us, knowing that he's a bit vulnerable after that exit. We're going to have a look up the inside here, giving us the line through the next couple of corners. Does he go for it? He just doesn't quite leave us enough space there. And through the tiniest amount of contact, we're spun round, down now into 15th position and miles that? behind the train so our race has gone from bad to worse in the space of two laps it's <laughs> it's looking pretty pretty what dire at that? the moment you can hear i'm absolutely absolutely oh fuming um i partially thought it was my fault maybe it was a bit of an ambitious dive but i also thought i was was far enough up anyway on lap eight you can see we're about three seconds behind uh one of the only other medium runners oh, in pacey uh, but we're deciding to follow the leaders in to the pits here, because um, unfortunately something with this game tends to be a not not a lot of variation in strategy if there's no safety cars. So Stick on the same strategy quite often it tends to be the chance. best strategy if you're behind people to just follow yeah, them with the same the strategy, so undercut and overcut, I've got that tend not to... Water affect the race too much realistically uh except for maybe uh, silverstone here but <laughs> yeah we're, we're just essentially following their strategy 
As we come out of the pit, so we've come out in front of Pond, and he had wing damage from another yeah, incident, so he was stuck nice. in the pits for, for that extra five or so seconds, yeah, replacing that wing damage, which means we gained that position on him, thankfully. Uh, and with our pace, we've already uh, managed to pull the gap out, so we're free of his DRS range as well. Uh, on to lap 12, we caught up to Matt Dabry. He's stayed out on his soft tyres for far too long. I think he's been on them for 12 laps at this stage. I think he pitted lap one. Yeah. Um, he's we're also pretty low on ERS. Three. We've been pushing pretty hard trying to close back in on combined and, and that train we're that's a bit further up. Trade, uh, so we are going to have a bit more difficulty getting this move done than we should be. Uh, we get the run through this set of corners. His tyre's really lacking some grip now. With the DRS, we're going to have a look up the outside, giving us the inside for the next corner. He defends us pretty well here, though. Uh, he's still still got the nose in front of us as we go through this next corner. Uh, and we're forced to leave him space on the outside still through this double right-hander. It's only on this exit here that we managed to finally out-traction him and get that move done. And that cost us a couple of tenths to the guys on mediums in front, so not ideal. Um, anyway, we're going to skip a bunch of the race now, though. Because it's now lap 25, we've been on our own for all of that time. But we had heard uh, rumours from Don't Jeff that the rain could be coming Come on, earlier than bit, expected. So, so we're sticking out longer on these mediums in the hope that we can get through to the rain period and maybe recover a few of those positions that we lost uh, at the start of the race. No matter what, without a safety car... You can hear me there, so. we need a safety car no matter what, because right now we are a lap under-fueled. So, uh, a mistake of mine, under-fueled the car expecting a safety car, because there almost oh always is one in Tier 1. But yeah, we're in a bit of trouble. Anyway, on lap 28, still haven't pitted, currently in P5. Uh, and if we look at the minimap, there's a yellow flag there, Smitty has retired. As we come through the final corner, we have a full safety car. So, from our luck being absolutely nowhere on lap two, <laughs> yes. to having it all come back for us on lap 29 with a safety car, putting us on the perfect strategy, softs to the end of the race, and letting us get all our fuel back. You can hear me in the background there. The relief when that safety car came out after driving by myself for, what, 20, 26 laps pretty much by myself? Um, it was insane. Anyway, getting ready for the safety car restart now. We now have an opportunity still for this top five finish. We do still have six seconds of penalties, but if we can get through, if we can get through the field, there's a couple of people on extra old soft tires and it's getting starting to get slippery. You can see the rain starting to come down. We might have a chance to open up some gaps on people and keep this top five position that we have a chance of. Anyway, safety car restart, absolutely juicing down this straight weather behind report. the cars in front. Weather report. Asking Jeff what he thinks of the weather, whether it's going to hit before the end of the race or not. Still says five minutes. Leaving a bit of space to the cars in front that are going too wide through this set of corners. FIBA going for a dive, compromising bait, mate, actually giving him damage. They end up all over the place on the exit of that corner. We follow Potsy through past his teammate. We're three wide now between Baitmate, Trin and myself. Three. Bait backs out. We go deep into the corner on the outside, trying to get this move done, giving us the inside for the next corner. And manage to out-traction him through this next section, and that has us up to P4 provisionally at the moment on lap 32. So from being out of the points, seven seconds behind anyone else, to now on lap 32 of 36, being in with a chance of a top five finish. On lap 35, we're looking back. We have the gap to T-Mac, who doesn't matter. He's got eight seconds of penalties. It's 1.8. But the gap to Trin with a three-second penalty is two and a half seconds. We need to gain two. We need to gain half a second on this lap to make sure that we get this top five finish. Absolutely juicing down this straight. We have no ERS left. We're giving it absolutely everything, trying to nail these apexes through this first couple of corners, pull out as much time through there as we can. Gaps down to 2.3 seconds. We really need to make sure we get this time through the middle and last sector. Breaking late into these corners. We're basically treating this like a qualifying lap. We don't care about the cars in front. We just only care about that gap behind us. T-Mac and Trin maybe even battling a little bit might help us a bit. Uh, gaps now out to two and a half seconds again. We really need to make sure we nail these corners through the S's, especially now it's starting to rain. 
The track is getting really slippery now. Having to lift through this section that's normally flat by this stage of the race. The gap is now out to 2.93 seconds. We need to make sure we nail this final sector though to make sure we keep that gap. 2.8 seconds now. We need two tenths through this last sector. 2.9 seconds. Three seconds as we head into the final corner now. Once again, needing to nail this exit into the finish line now. And as we cross the line, finish, we're waiting on the timing. We're waiting on it. And we just get it. Yes, I got it. <laughs> Point zero three four of a second and we get that top five finish. Absolutely insane result in the end. I couldn't I, I could barely believe it, especially where we were on lap two to get into this position. No points for combined, no points for pondered. Luck had a lot to do with it, but also we 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 had to take the gamble as well on the meds. So in the end I am getting that tenth place in this championship. What we did worked out and, and that's all we have to worry about. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, I think 60% of the people that watch my videos currently aren't subscribed, so if you are enjoying, please consider doing that. Um, next stream will be this Sunday for AFR Tier 1 around Australia. Should be an insane race as well, one of my better tracks again as well. Uh, apart from that, We'll see you all for the next video. Um, if you haven't already, go follow the TikTok as well. Uh, go follow me on Twitter. Both of those links will be on in my uh, description. And yeah, just generally have a good one, everyone. And we'll see you for the next video.